All right, what's up girls and boys? What's up internet? I am Bianca and welcome to another video on an upcoming indie game. Now this one is on Steam. It's called Veil of Dust, a homesteading game. And it has farming, it has crafting, it has adventure. It has a lot of things actually. It has a mystery, it has magic, and it's set on the 1860s frontier. So it's set it a long time ago. And I've actually played this demo a couple of times already. And I'm intrigued by the story that this game has and basically today's video is all about uh showcasing this game um for you guys anyway let's just go to uh another screen right here it's called veil of dust and for today's video what we'll be doing is that we will be playing through the entire demo so let's start a new game so for the demo, which you can actually download and play via Steam, and I'm flashing the link to where you can actually download it, and you know, the Steam page, which you can also wishlist the game um, from, and all to show how, you know, how interested you are and how you're willing to support this game. Uh, but anyways, this demo has two difficulty, uh, to choose from uh, casual and challenge and on casual uh, choose this mode if you're more interested in the storyline and romances than in a challenging survival experience this mode is all around easier and requires only basic planning and optimization while challenge of course is a mode that will require you to optimize your resources and pay close attention to your stats and surroundings. Overcoming story challenges will require a good deal of preparation and skill. You will receive a penalty for collapsing. It's pretty tough, you've been warned. So as I've said before, I've actually played this demo a couple of times already, so I know what we are up against. But having said that, I've only played this under casual mode. And even then, I was struggling to maintain, you know, uh, our stats, our uh, health, our stamina, hunger, not so much. Uh, but for this demo, and because of that, because I don't really think that I can survive challenge mode while recording, I will be playing on casual. So if you're more hardcore than I am, then go ahead, download the demo. Again, links here um, and try out challenge mode. But again, casual. So we can also choose our character. So we have Onye. I hope I'm hoping I'm pronouncing the name right, because I think uh, if I if I'm not wrong, this uh, Onye, uh, yeah, Onye is a North Irish, Northern Irish name, uh, Callahan. Um, so yeah, if I'm pronouncing it wrong, I'm really sorry. <laughs> um, names really aren't my forte and neither is uh, their pronunciation, but um, she does ma both combat and growth magic, cannot go to town for reasons. And she is the younger sister to Shane. Meanwhile, Shane, which is coming in a future version of the demo or the game itself, uh, when it finally comes out, he shoots a shotgun. Can't do magic or see most magical things, which this game has a lot of, and he is the older brother to Anya. So, since we don't really have a choice, we're going with Anya. I really hope I am pronouncing. So here we are. Uh, so this is something... Oh, I forgot we already have something planted, but uh, it's something that I didn't really realize the first time I played this demo is that there is actually tools, that we already have tools like this uh, bucket, for instance. And so I played through like half of the demo because it says nothing equipped and my brain was just instantly um, thinking that, oh, I, I think I have to craft the tools and stuff like that. So I didn't pay much attention to the crops that were already planted. And it was only when I was told that we could equip magic to hunt that I realized that, oh, 
I have to press nothing equipped to equip something. But anyway, let's let's talk to Shane. Anya, where you were out past dark again last night. Oh yeah, I lost track of time again. I thought I saw we saw a good place for mushrooms. Haha. <laughs> yeah, you know, looking for mushrooms, you you really lose track of time. Uh, listen, I'm not trying to stop you from going out or looking for food. We both know that we won't get by without it. It's just when I haven't seen you for hours, I get nervous that someone from town found you. Oh, it sure would be nice to meet our neighbors. <laughs> Anya, come on, Jesus. I'm sorry, I forgot. How could you? Ugh, never mind, of course you would. Just stay away from people and be back before dark. Please, I need you to take this seriously. I do take it seriously. Please don't be so upset. Don't just tell me. Show me you take it personally by not flitting around like everything in this world is your friend. People will hurt you, Anya. How many times do you do we have to get uh, go through with this? Uh, yeah, we aren't really given much context uh, until I think on several uh, conversations with Shane um, later that we do understand what's going on with them. Why is Anya not, not allowed to town? You know, stuff like that. I do take it seriously, Shane. Really? Well, okay then. Okay, now that's done. Uh, we actually have several places we could visit. We can head here on the south eastern or the eastern exit, the western or the north. So for, uh, to make things easier, let's go to the west. Now this is really interesting. <laughs> we already, we did it. Uh, when traveling, keep your eyes peeled for things to forage and animal prints to track. Click to harvest. Okay, click. Uh, it takes a while to get used to this mechanic because at first, uh, I personally found it hard because it was moving too fast for me and I, I wasn't prepared, basically, and I missed a lot of items the first time I played this demo, but you start to grow, uh, it starts to grow on you, and it's, it's a very interesting mechanic to have. I don't think I've played any games right off the top of my head that does something like that. This, a Hamlet the Owl. Hi, Hamlet. Green and yellow human is here. What? <laughs> Hunting well. Many kills, many kills, flyers and runners. Very good. All ready to make eggs. Where's your mate? Mate hunts now. Where is your mate? I told you, Hamlet, no mate now. Quack. <laughs> Very bad. Green and yellow. Human is alone. I'm not alone. Sibling. Bigger yellow and green human. Siblings are for nestlings. Must have mate to, mate to make eggs. Find a mate. Find a mate. Many male humans to the south. Who needs an overbearing grandmother to pester you about a husband when you have an owl to do it? Hamlet, you've seen big prey too big for you but good for me. Big meat, running around between here and your home. Oh, thanks, I'll go get it. Uh, so yeah, as I mentioned before, it has hunting. Um, so this is how hunting goes. We start tracking our prey, which we can get an idea of where to find them by talking to Ham Hamlet the owl. So after we talk to Hamlet, we will see these uh, footprints and we just have to click on this footprints to go to a new location to actually hunt whoever owns these footprints. Again, another interesting mechanic for this game, which I'm hoping we would <laughs> be able to trigger quite easily. But first, let me equip Spore Blast. And we're running out of stamina. I noticed, ooh, mushroom. Oh, there's a footprint. There's a footprint. I need one more footprint. There we go. Another footprint. Okay, we have to find... The wabbit. Be very, very quiet. We're hunting wabbits. Oh, there's a rabbit. I see it up here. Okay. Spore blast. Spore blast. Oh, there we go. Okay, and equip because I always end up. Okay. Oh, it ran away. No. <laughs> no. It ran away. That sucks. I thought we got it. I honestly thought we got the rabbit. 
So I'm gonna travel back because I need to get that rabbit because uh, one of the things that we need is a rope. And one of the places where we could get uh, some rope is... Um, hold on a second. Mortal and pe mortar and pestle. We need that. Uh, plant fiber. Okay. Do this. We need to install this to the kitchen so that we can make uh, more or cook more stuff uh, like tea, which... Um, which basically it's a food item that can increase our stamina here plus four stamina i'll take that um anyways let's head back we need the rabbit for their fur which don't run away don't freaking run away uh which there we go um now i'm kind of where home setting is really hard uh, so yeah, these are the stats. So we have health, morale, hunger, and stamina. Health is a critical stat, obviously. When a character runs out of health, they collapse. Health recovers naturally by sleeping, but just a few points a night or by hearty food. Um, there is one item that is very generous with the amount of health that we can get, and we will be making that item once I get the ingredients for it, then as for morale, when a character runs out of morale, they collapse. Morale is recovered via tasty food. Hunger drains over time, uh, whether sleeping or awake. When the character runs out of hunger, they will start to lose health over time. Hunger is recovered by eating. Stamina, this is where I get my, my problems with this game, is that I really couldn't manage my stamina levels. <laughs> I suck at it, essentially. Uh, but anyways, many actions such as watering, planting, climbing, and running take stamina. When the character runs out of stamina, the cost of subsequent stamina loss will be taken from their health. The longer they sleep, the more stamina they'll recover. So there's also status effects. Um, so yeah, if we run out of health or morale, we will collapse. Uh, when the status effect is racing, a start an upward arrow will appear at the bar when it's draining a downward arrow. So typical stuff, you know. Uh, but anyways, we're done here. So let's just leave. Then we'll head back. Oh. Oh. No, I need this for tea. Oh, I... Darn it. I didn't get the bone. There, there were bones. I don't know if you guys saw it, but there were bones sitting right there. It's nighttime, and it's pretty dark. It's pretty dark out at night. Anya, I shot a hair today, and I've boiled it. Dig in. Couldn't you have saved the carcass as well? Okay, let's let's sleep. Sleeping is good. We need the stamina, so we, we really have to sleep. Um... Okay, we also have to water our crops. Now, there's also the growth ma magic, uh, but it eats up stamina. But for the sake of this video, let me just show you guys. It's, it basically speeds up uh, the plant's growth, but <laughs> the water, you know, you, you have to water the crops again after using it so the ideal way would be to use it before actually using your bucket let's talk to shane maybe he has something new to say i'm going to see hamlet today we already saw hamlet is that the owl you keep mentioning what could an owl possibly have to say that's worth, worth tracking over here over there over over and over uh, she's teaching me how to hunt she's got unbelievable eyes that which direction is that west why if you don't come home, I want to know where to look for you. I always come home eventually. Plus, I'm probably going to head towards the butte, but <laughs> later. I wanted to climb up and see if the huckleberries are right bit. Huckleberries, eh? Okay, just remember to water the plants before you leave. I know, Shane, you don't have to tell me every single day. I only let the plants completely die once. Yeah, you'd let them die once and you're siblings will not let you hear the end of it what was i even trying to say <laughs> and what kind of an older brother would i be if i don't constantly if i didn't constantly remind you of it a much better one 
Ouch, you wound me, madam. Come home in the evening. If I manage to get any food, I'll give it to you then. So yeah, here's the basic with farming. Um, Basically covered uh, a couple of this. Uh, we plant seeds by equipping them and then just clicking on the soil. Uh, each plant must be watered each day. You can do so by equipping your watering bucket, which again shows that I wasn't paying attention when I played this game, you know, this demo for the first time because I I was I just wanted to play it. I didn't really read through. I was thinking, oh, I know about farming, <laughs> and I didn't really read through the instructions. Um, but yeah, uh, oh, I didn't know you can click and drag the bucket. Uh, harvest when ready and uh, use magic. Again, that's something we've done. Uh, use mulch. This is something that we actually have to craft. But anyways, we've gone over to the west. So let's head on over to the east. Okay. Oh, there's the bone. Okay, footprints. Another set of footprints, and we forgot to equip Spore Blast. Okay, we have to be careful with tracking. Oh, there's the hair. Okay, that's... Darn on the river shot! There we go. <laughs> so that's uh, two fur. I, I just... Also, this is something I didn't know before, but we can get items if we interact with boulders like this. In one of my earlier playthroughs of this demo, I got lucky and I got a rope from this boulder the first time. The first time I the first time I interacted with it. So that made playing the demo a lot easier. Resume traveling. Um and the reason why we need the fur apart from the house upgrade is because of this NPC here, um, laughing cow. Uh, hello, do you speak English? Yes, some. Oh, great. What's your name? I can't read that, so I'm not gonna attempt because I might butcher it and I don't want to offend anyone. <laughs> uh, is there an English way to say that? Laughing cow. That's a fun name. I once knew a boy named Robin, but that's just the bird part. <laughs> Awkward. What do you want? Are you traders? Yes, we trade. What do you have? You look much like Shane Callahan. You know him? He's my brother. Oh, good then. We have talked with him since many times in La Grande. Yes, we will trade. We are carrying ropes right now. Oh, okay. What do you want for it? You have metal things, knives, pots. Not that I can spare. What about clothing? Blankets. Oh, I might be able to come up with fur blankets. I can come back with them later. I have another thing to say, Miss Callahan. You should not be here uh, about here by yourself. Dangerous animals have been here and also less friendly men. Not even we are alone. Don't worry, it's fine, but if you're going to La Grande, please don't mention you saw me to anyone. Why? You are an outsider? Yes, you could say that. Oh, then we will not mention. But then you must not mention us to the mission. I didn't even know that there was a mission on the reservation, but I wouldn't talk to them anyway. Yes, very good. Nice talk, nice conversation there. 10 out of th 10. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I also didn't realize that there was another screen here to the left when I initially played this. It, it was only in, in a recent playthrough that I realized there was more to this map, this area. So this is a water nymph. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Me? Yeah, you. I'm Anya Callahan. What's your name? You... you can see me? Yeah. How? I must look monstrous. Not really, you just look blue. No, not at all. Not at all. You're very beautiful. I'm blue. Oh. Blue is one of my favorite colors. <laughs> Awkward conversations. Uh, so, what are your other favorite colors? All of them, but blue is my most favorite because, you know, you're blue. <laughs> and I'm trying to make a good impression. Uh, I'm sorry, I haven't had a conversation in a long time. I feel like this is going poorly. Is it? I think it's going okay. Oh? See, you smiled. We're having fun. Hee <laughs> hee. Are you a water nymph? Yeah, yeah, I'm a water nymph. What's your name? Elise Bengston. Beng Bengts. How do you pronounce that? Bengtson? Hmm? 
Huh, I've never heard of a nymph with a name like that. It's usually something like... Pebble. <laughs> Pebble? Yeah, something weird and naturey like that. <laughs> okay, it's a little bit funny. I, my, my sense of humor is like, it's not as sophisticated as some people. Although I do like good puns. Uh, so why haven't you talked to other nymphs in a long time? They um, think I'm weird. Oh? Hmm, well some people think I'm weird too, so you can just talk to me from now on. Yeah, birds of a feather flock together. Oh yeah, sure. Uh... Oh, you're here again. Listen, I won't be much fun to talk to. You should find someone else to spend time with. <laughs> Is that her way of saying buzz off without sounding rude? Okay, I think... I think we have enough here. Oh, there's... A rock. Gotta get them. Gotta get them all. Okay. We're also running out of stamina. I just know I missed. I just know. I, I, I was so far, but oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is why I don't play Valorant. <laughs> I will... I probably suck at it. Uh, but we're running out of stamina. And... Let's butcher this one. Okay, let's... How many do we need? I think... We need two more, yeah. Two more. So let's just go sleep. I don't think we have to eat just yet. Like, I don't... I haven't been up north in a while. I wonder if huckleberries are right. Okay, anything you can say, big brother? Hmm. Hey, Miss Williams gave me some odds and ends for helping her out in the store the other day. You could probably find a use for this rope, right? Yeah, I better go clim climb something high. Anya, you know, carefully. I hope I'm not going to regret this. So we have our first rope, uh, but I'm not going to use that. I'm not heading north just yet, uh, only because I don't... Uh, black eyed piece. I don't really want to use up too much stamina going up there, especially when we don't have the ropes just yet because it eats up a lot of stamina. The best, I think, I personally think after playing this a couple of times, the best um, way to go about it is just to like get all the rope that we need before heading there so we can go there like complete everything that's that needs completing um in that area in one go and that part though is oh shoot that part is completely up to luck like i've said um i managed to get a rope from from the rock thing uh, glossy today. Lots of preening from mate. Oh, that's so sweet. Yes, yes. Green and yellow human is preening. Become better friends. That's why I need to find food first. Long-eared runner. You can hunt. Okay. Uh, but yeah. Uh, like I've said, I got lucky when I was playing this. And I managed to get a rope from that boulder, that rock thing that I told you guys about. So I only had to... Uh, then I got, you know, Shane ga gave us the the rope so i only had to actually work for hunting um hunting where's the t there it is uh for hunting rabbits in order to craft the fur uh or, or to to get the fur ah. <laughs> oh my goodness oh my goodness so it it, it was a fast playthrough i i still have a recording of it and it took me about 44 minutes give or take uh just to complete the demo the demo story uh it's another thing entirely when we're saying complete everything in the demo uh because i there are certain things that i haven't actually completed i think we we are going to be forced to travel north like i need to there's a roar Whoa, what was that roar? That's some big, big creature up there. Hmm. That lo lo uh, look, look, <laughs> what? 
Look at that rock up there. If I climbed up there, I bet I could tie a rope around it and maybe climb right up this steep part. Uh, so yeah, that's why we need rope. There's two more uh, rocks like this. But anyway, we're not we're not heading there just yet. We I, again, I want to get the rope first. All the rope first to make it easier for us to traverse. Even if we run out of stamina at that point, we can easily go back down. Okay, it's it's getting dark. We have to go back. I completely forgot about the time. I was trying to... Okay, hunt. Hunt. Oh, this is going to be hard because it's pretty dark. Pretty darn dark. I think that's my only... Uh, issue? Wait, did the road already run off? Okay, there it is. I think... Please don't run off. Oh, okay. Did it run off? Frick, it escaped! Uh, but yeah, I think my only complaint is... Uh, the tinting of the screen whenever it gets dark. It's, it's really dark on my screen. I'm not sure how it is on some people people screen um it sure was cold last night yeah did you sleep okay well not really i woke up shivering a few times oh i've been meaning to work on a chimney so we can seal up the roof we haven't had any extra to trade for building and materials in a while damn it oh that's okay no it isn't you need your slip sleep <laughs> slip uh what about you weren't you cold last night that doesn't matter i can handle it next time wake me up and you can have my blanket okay oh what a good brother uh but anyways we have to go to sleep we actually need to sleep Okay, day four. Potato. The potatoes are growing well. So are the barley. Is the plural of barley barleys or is it plural or already? But now I'm returning with the gold in great store and never will I play the wild rover no more and it's the <laughs> right up your kilt. <laughs> your kilt. <laughs> kilt. Father would have had a heart attack if he heard you doing the Scottish callbacks. Uh, I can sing whatever callbacks I want. I'm an American. I don't remember the Irish callbacks. I think it was clapping or else just indiscriminate drunken shouting. If only we'd been old enough. I think the standard in Irish pub is more is more can they see over the bar in which case I was old and I was old enough at nine or ten. Well, you were too busy pining after George O'Connor at the age to go to the pub. At that age to go to the pub. <laughs> you always gotta bring that up. What's up with Georgia uh, O'Connor? Um, I don't really know anything about I the Irish or Irishmen. Is that is that I like my knowledge of them is really limited, and I feel embarrassed to admit that. Uh, but I do, I, I think I did have um, workmates back when I was still working uh, that are Irish, I think. I couldn't really be too sure. I forgot to talk to Hamlet. Oh, sweet gee. Jeebus. I forgot to talk to Hamlet. Let's go again. Again. Oh. Okay, foot, footprints. Click on all the footprints. Equip. Okay. I am going to catch you. There we go. Nothing equipped. I also need to find that boulder again. In the hopes that... You know, it will give me another rope. No. I missed. It will give me another rope to make things a whole lot easier for us. Um, can, does, can Hamlet tell me if there are more... I got a runner today, a big one. Yes, keep eating green and yellow. Human will be ready for eggs soon. I wish humans just laid eggs, Hamlet. It's not that easy. It's really not that easy. How do you, you how do humans get nestlings? Uh it's a lot harder than laying eggs. So he can he, he, can, he won't tell you where to hunt if you've already found something for today. Like is this That's one thing I'm not sure. Uh I'm going to ask the devs about it is if we can only find one animal to hunt 
per day. Okay, let's put your hair carcass. So we only need one more animal pelt. Animal. Aminal pelt. One more aminal pelt. And uh, we can make that fur blanket. Ugh. Different things.